My lords, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. I recently left the Conservative, Conservative Party as somebody who formed a target seat at the last general election. <laughs> I believe the Conservative Party will get tough on the EU. In 2005, I waited for Michael Howard. It didn't happen. Reluctantly, I voted for David Cameron as leader, as he would take on the EU and repatriate powers. Once selected, his narrative died. Once elected, those closest to him said, we'll see David's true colours on Europe. Trust us. I did. He lied to us on the Lisbon Treaty. Candidates were not allowed to discuss Europe on the doorsteps and nor in our literature. Instead, Mr Cameron said, we will stay in the EU because it's in Britain's best interest. I realise, like many of you, that the leaders in the Conservative Party just don't listen. So I joined UKIP. Yeah. One of the areas under threat is the City of London. George Osborne has been silent on the assault of the City of London, particularly the financial transaction tax. Stephen here has led our campaign in the City of London. I'd like to thank him for doing that for us. I'm delighted to be on board and working with Stephen to step up our campaign in the city, as we're the only party that was to stop the destruction of our city institutions. The institutions that provide 5% of Britain's GDP, and that's no small amount. The city employs, the city of London employs some half a million people. Around a quarter of those jobs could go because of the EU's plans. Most will go to Asia and they'll be lost forever. Britain's exports of international financial services grew by 15% for 15 years, a really serious growth industry in which the UK is a world leader. The EU will ruin this. So let me turn to our campaign and what I'm going to do in UKIP. We will tell the IT workers, the cleaners, the sandwich makers, the secretaries and the back office staff, your jobs will go if the EU has its way. We will tell the entrepreneurs, those that create jobs and wealth in this country, that we are the only party able to stand up for you. We will tell them, we will ask them for all their votes and those that are able to, to contribute financially. We will tell them that the city must think globally. If we tie London to a shrinking, over-regulated, ageing and sclerotic regional block, then we are finished. So, coming to on top of the financial crisis, the 50p top rate of tax and the proposed, key the, the, the proposed tax on financial transactions, the creation of new, three new EU supervisory bodies, all these measures will de do grave damage to the city. The one bit of our economy that might just have the locomotive power to drag Britain back to growth. It's an unedifying mixture of envy, anti-capitalism and anti-Britishness. So, Conservatives and colleagues in this room, come on and join us and help us to stop it. Thank you.